Hey folks, it's Grant over here at Local Cooling Farms. I just wanted to do a uh, quick video. Last year, we started working with uh, Ponson Train Blue Crab on finding a solution for their uh, their crab shell because they're a blue crab processing facility. So they, um, you know, they buy from uh, local fishermen to process the blue crabs that are caught in the um, you know, the Ponson Train Lake um, estuary system. Uh, they're located in um, in Slidell. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the area, uh, our farm is 60 miles north of New Orleans. We're about 80 miles north of the Gulf of Mexico. And our watershed here at the farm goes into the, uh, the, the Pearl River Valley estuary system, which goes out into um, you know, the Mississippi coast, Louisiana coast, into the estuaries there, and then you know, into the Gulf of Mexico. And so the, the cool thing about this is that all of this uh this crab shell that's coming in not only are um, we composting it on farm to put out on our pasture to do all kinds of awesome things to grow more grass uh, so we can graze more cattle um, but um, you know like i said our watershed goes into that estuary system so years and years of um, our farm being used as a row crop farm uh, from the folks that owned it, you know, for the previous generations, you know, a lot of that topsoil with tillage had, has run off into that estuary system. Uh, and here we are, you know, reclaiming material back from that same estuary system uh, to rebuild our soil. So, you know, not the best place to be in because we're, um, you know, we're doing regenerative, restorative agriculture here. We're getting these old row crop fields uh, and breathe a new life back into them uh, to create um, a healthy, dynamic, biologically diverse uh, pasture grazing system. Uh, so we, we, we would rather not be in this place of having to restore it, but this is just where we are. Um, and then uh, as long as we're stewards of the acreage that we have, uh, we're gonna be doing things that, uh, that are beneficial to the community and beneficial to our land here. And so not only is this gonna do really great things for our soil, uh, with bringing up the calcium and the chitin uh, and the other nutrients and the other micro um, micronutrients that we need, um, the minerals that we need for our soil, uh, but we're also taking this stuff away from landfill uh, because they need a place for it to go um, as part of their business model, and so they can't keep it there. And so it either needs to be landfilled, uh, where it will go anaerobic and create methane gas, which is one of the leading uh, greenhouse gases, uh, or they can work with somebody like us uh, where we can you know, properly um, do thermal composting with it uh, to control any odors and smells and anything like that. And then we can go ahead and, and land spread it, land applicate it uh, to our own pasture um, and take it from there. So, uh, so everybody's, it's a win-win for everybody. Uh, so that's what we're, uh, we're doing here at uh, Local Cooling Farms today is, uh, is getting all this crab shell rolled into a compost pile. All right, y'all have a good one.